How's it going? How's it going? Perfect timing, man. <laughs> Not anymore. Hey guys, hello, we keep it dirty off-road and I got something really cool today for the truck. This is something we had planned before four-wheel parts came a calling and I still wanted to do it. Nothing wrong with the four-wheel parts wheels. It's just, I did quite a bit of research on wheels before I decided to get a set and these wheels right here were the ones that were gonna meet most of my needs. We're gonna make me feel comfortable too on the trails. Nothing wrong with the four-wheel parts wheels. They're really great wheels. I love the way they look, but they can only handle 2,500 pounds. These things can't handle 3,200 pounds. That means they're gonna be much stronger on the trails. And so I'm gonna show you, they have a deep grip technology. Let's get into it. We got a sticker. Very nice and well packed. Just the cover. Nice cover. You guys ready? And there you go. That's what we're putting on the truck. So yes, these are methods, 17, eight and a half wheels, six by 135 volt pattern to fit the truck. These are zero offset wheels and it's the MR704s. This is their trail series tires with the bead grip technology and it has it on both sides. Now there was three reasons why I picked this wheel. One and foremost was strength. I needed a strong wheel. These are probably one of Method's strongest wheels with load carrying capacity of over 3,600 pounds. And second, it's their trail series. So the construction of the wheel is much stronger than your typical Method wheel. Second was the bead grip technology, which acts very similar to a beadlock. It's very strong. It's not going to pop the bead like your typical wheels would. And honestly, I didn't want to deal with the issues with running beadlocks anymore. It's just too much work. And then lastly was the price. In order to find a comparable off-road wheel, I was going to pay close to three to four times as much to go to a full beadlock setup. And honestly, that was outside of my budget. I didn't want to go that route. Meth has proved to be the most cost-effective, the strongest, and honestly, best-looking wheel I could find for my budget. It looks really good. So we're really excited. You know what's missing? The caps are missing. Found it! And they come with this really cool cap. This was my original plan for the truck. I think the titanium look, this great look, is gonna look really good with the blue on the truck. And we're about to find out because we're gonna get these bad boys loaded up and we're gonna go get them mounted. Now we're not gonna mount them on the KM3s. We're gonna mount them on our Terra Grappler G2s. And then we're gonna see how it looks and decide which ones are gonna stay on the truck for a bit. Let's do it. The Nittles definitely made the uh, KM3s look small. I mean, they're massive tires. And at 13 and a half, they're even wider. They have the same track. They all have about a 10 inch uh, wide track, but the tires just fatter. <laughs> If you guys are wondering, we did run into problems getting the sensors programmed. Ended up buying a whole new set of sensors so that I could still keep using my old tires whenever I wanted to. We ended up using the ones that come from America's Tire, and initially they couldn't get them to uh, to be read by the truck. They're not liking it? Yeah, it should be like the, was it the 330 somethings or whatever? Now, if you're wondering, the truck comes with 315 megahertz, and depending on year, that can change. It could be 315 or 433s. In order to get the truck to read the new aftermarket valves, they had to actually connect to the truck itself in order to get it into the proper learn mode. The standard learn mode where you hit the, the hazards did not work. Alright guys, so that's it. 
definitely enjoying the new look of the truck. We took the truck out that weekend, so be on the lookout. We have our first off-road with the 37s video coming up to show you guys the results of our trimming and what else we need to do. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, put in questions below, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Oh,